Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today in this skill builder, we're going to take a look at the many uses of a single gradient. So this was an idea I had uh, when I, I it was actually a while ago. I made a skill builder, a little video about making a native gradient using shadows and and that kind of stuff to to actually do it in the software. This isn't going to be about that. This is taking an existing entity, an image of a gradient, which we'll look at in just a second, and just a couple different ways you can use it inside of SketchUp to get some pretty cool effects. Let's take a look. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in here and we're going to take a look at, I just, I just need to make a, a thing. I'm, I need a, a rectangle. We're going we're gonna to try to create a rectangle here. So I'm going to come up here on the, the red axis. I'm just going to create a rectangle. This is something to work off of. Um, all right. So now, now that we're here, I want to get my gradient loaded in. So I'm going to import the gradient as a texture and you see it come in. So I'm going to go to file, import, and I'm going to grab this uh, gradient PNG. I'm going to import it as a texture import it i'm going to drop it right here and i'm going to stretch it up to this corner and it's going to add it on there all right so there you go that is i mean that's that's the basic uh thing i got here if i let's go ahead and move naraj around behind so we can we can see how this works so you can see it's a basic i just created this in photoshop just took a few seconds it goes from full 100 white up to zero percent so fully transparent and if I go ahead and let's just grab this line, take this up, see how high it goes before it repeats. So it's pretty big. So you can see it's got like the bottom half down here is the solid weight white gradient to about here or so, and then has a bunch of just clearness, if that's a word. Um, if I right click texture position, you can see I can move that around a little bit. The, the full opaque bottom is currently at the very bottom of the screen. That's, that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I was thinking of some different ways I could use this. So first and foremost, uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna move this top piece back down. First and foremost is just some basic, like if I wanted to emulate reflection on a glass or something like that, or maybe frost, something like that, I could drop that on there. And by having this in this orientation, so I'm gonna, let me, let me go ahead and grab this and uh, I'll just make a copy of it over here. So one of the things I can do right off the bat with this is I can right click texture and I can position the texture and I can increase or decrease the amount of frost I have, if, that's, if that is frost, by shrinking it, right? So there I made it smaller. So now if this was frost or reflection, whatever this is, uh, ends up being much smaller. Likewise, I could say here, let's, let's just, let's keep a running uh, set of copies here. With that same exact piece, I could go uh, select just the face, texture, position, and if I just go ahead and make that bigger, then that gradient fills up more of it. So again, exact same gradient. Here I have three different effects on that rectangle. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one right here and I'm going to copy it over here. I'm going to do something slightly different, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and break this bottom line. I take that line and I'm going to make a copy of it like that. And then I'm going to do that. All right. Now I have just that triangle if i grab that triangle and i rotate that a copy 90 degrees do that 3x i get that and if i can't i can't erase these because if i erase these it's gonna put it on once but if i hit shift erase and i get rid of those lines then i end up with that frostingness coming in from the different sides if i grab one of them texture position and maybe we'll actually do is probably make it even a little more you know, something like that and I'll go view and turn my hidden geometry on then I can grab that 
and I'll copy that around 3x and now I can go view turn my hidden geometry back off that's more what I was looking for I kind of get that frostiness coming in. put this into a window pane or something like that and I kind of emulate cold or frostiness or something like that on the outside and this made me think I'm walking you guys through some of my thought process here well, what if what if I didn't want to do that with a square but what if I want to do that with like a circle so what if I took this and basically emulated the same the same thing um, I'm gonna take that shape let's go ahead and rotate it so that that bottom of that segment is straight down and then I could say okay let's go sample this and apply that here and then I could take that and copy one like that uh, 23x is going to go all the way around it's 24 side circle again shift erase to get rid of those extra lines and I just kind of frosted a mirror or uh, I don't know looking through I, I, I don't know <laughs> there's so many things you could do with this this is looking through a spyglass or into a snow globe or something like that I could frost the outside of it with that same same piece and here's the cool part this is the part that i really I, I started to think of more ways i could do this i'm gonna go ahead and copy this last that first one back over here again and right now i'm going from solid white up to fully transparent but i don't have to do that i don't have to just use white because this is a material i can come in here and say okay make a unique texture and if i come over to my materials over here and look at what's in here so I have this gradient, which is the original imported image I had, and now I have this gradient one. I'm gonna grab that gradient one real quick, and I'm gonna say edit. And check this out. Just by going over here and changing the color of that, I can, again, I can do everything I just did here with all of these, but I could do them with a specific color. So if I wanna make it look like something, I don't know, I'm looking out a window on Mars, or there's a fire going on or reflecting or something like that, I could use that same exact white gradient and I could do everything I did here all over again in a totally different color. So that is what I wanted to show you guys is one simple little gradient file, just a, I think it was a hundred by hundred pixel uh, gradient from zero or from 100% opacity up to zero. And I made all of these different effects right inside SketchUp. So this was abstract. This, this was a, a, a learning to do a thing and not necessarily like, uh, here, here's an exact model. This is more of how to model a specific concept. And I personally love the idea of having a single thing like a file, like just having a grid, like I said, 100 by 100 gradient. And I could take that and use it so many different ways. I just love that concept of how that could work for me and how it could make lots of different geometry uh, all work the same and, and just so many different ways to present that one file. I just think that's really cool. So it's like a Swiss army knife. You know, I have this little, little, little TNG and, and look at all the things I could make just so quickly. Um, so hopefully you like that, like I said, a little off the beaten path. It wasn't just a, you know, let's, let's go model a shoe or something like that but uh, a different way to use one resource in many different ways. If you did like that, click that like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos around here each and every week. You'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Do you like these kind of videos? Is there a different kind of skill builder you like best? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.